Hello and welcome to Sort of Sir's classes. I'm Anuja. Today I'm going to tell you about uh, the words that show time, location and position. In other words, or in grammar, we call it preposition. So, I'm going to talk about the basic prepositions that we use in everyday conversation like in, at, on and there are a few more like by, with, over, um, could be into, onto. So, there are so many others. Now, um, the bad news is uh, there is no clear rule or no uh, clear, I, I can say, uh, way of knowing which preposition to use where. But again, we can always try to, I can give you certain tips that will help you to use these prepositions in your sentences. Now, in basically shows the position of a thing which is enclosed by edges, within edges of something. It is surrounded by either people or maybe walls on four sides. Next is at. At is very specific. It shows the location of the thing particularly at a place or at a specific time. At 5 I'm going to meet you outside the school gate. Okay. In could be could you please wait in the waiting area. So inside the waiting area. I left my bag in your office. So in your office. Okay. On. How do we use on? On is used in reference to other things or maybe in reference to a flat surface where the thing is put. Like for example, if I put this marker on the table, I would say the marker is on the table. There's a painting behind me. On the wall, where is it? It is mounted on the wall, it is hanging from the wall. So it's on the wall. So we need to have a surface in order to talk about on. If you're using on in your sentence, then there has to be a surface. Okay, so there are more examples. As we go through the examples, you will understand better. Okay, so let's look at these sentences here with in at you have both in and at here there's a lot of sugar in your coffee okay so or in my coffee whichever way so in shows that in a drink within the edges of the cup you have this outside and inside both so the edges are very clear the enclosed part is very clear so you have a lot of sugar in your drink or in your beverage or maybe uh, there are a lot of chilies in the sauce. So, in shows the dip, the exact inside of something. Let's look at this next sentence. The museum is in the city. It's in the city, not on the city or not at the city. It's in the city, showing that within the enclosure of the city, the museum is there. It's located or situated there. Let's look at the third sentence here. I live at Bidden Street in an apartment. Again, you can add on to this sentence on the fourth floor. So on shows the surface. The floor is the flat surface and there's on the fourth floor, on the first floor, we live there. In an apartment at Bidden Street, Bidden Street is your location. The place where the apartment is located, the exact location. If you look at the map of Kolkata and you try finding out Bidden Street, you will know it's exactly at Bidden Street, your apartment. And in an apartment is within the enclosure of the apartment, the edges, the four walls of the apartment. And on which floor? On the fifth floor or the fourth floor. So basically, we, now we know and like uh, the difference between in, at and on. Now, if there's a bridge on the river, that also shows on. Okay, the surface of the river and on top of the surface, you have a bridge from one end of the, one side of the river to the other side. So, it's on the river. Then again, what is that floating on the water? Okay, so these are, on shows basically the surface on which the thing is. So, if you have to talk about the preposition on, there should be a surface in mind. Okay, now there are other, like, if at is used as a time preposition, then you can say, I will meet you at 5. Again, in the evening. Not at the evening, but in the evening at 5. 
Okay, so basically at is used both for place as well as time. In is used for any position inside a premises, within the edges of something, where you have an inside and an outside, where the edges are very clear. Okay. On is used only to show uh, when you're talking about something in reference or in relation to a surface. The picture is on the wall. There's a clock on the wall. Okay. My marker is on the table. There's a book on the table. Okay. On can also be used with a group of other words. For example, it depends on how we plan our course, uh, course of action. It also depends on what sir has got to say on this. So that way. So on somebody else's perspective, something else depends. So on is again, you can treat it as a joiner. Okay. Between the two isolated group of words. Okay, so it's basically that. Now, I will tell you a little more about the preposition in a little bit more. She is selected to play in the national team. She is in the team of managers. So here, the edges are less clear than it is when you're talking about a cup or about a room or about a school for that matter. Now, I will give you a set of two sentences. Let me put it up on board for you. Yes, so Sarah Sentence number one, Sarah is in school. The next sentence, Sarah is at school. Now both the sentences are correct. How? In school meaning she studies in school and she is within the premises of the school somewhere. She is within the four walls of the school. The next sentence is Sarah is at school. She could be outside the school premises. She could be inside the school premises. So at basically is used for concepts like I am in the office, but I am at work. I am in my house, but I am at home. So if you're using at, make sure using at with concepts and for specific ideas and this is not specific though but still at school basically means that somewhere close to school but in shows exactly the position the exact location of your person so these are the basic um, prepositions that i just shared with you in at and on try using this at your like in your sentences and uh, if you have any questions still please write in the comment section below and hope to you know clear all your doubts even more thank you for watching me